Cable 2, the award-winning community television channel for Fairhaven and the Cushman, presents the 18th annual blessing of the new Bedford Fishing Fleet. Once again, this is M.L. Barron along with Bill Brennan and Barry Richards aboard the United States Coast Guard Cutter Eagle. And uh, we can really see a lot of boats gathering, getting ready for the blessing of the fleet, which is uh, going to be taking place very shortly. Uh, you know what? Unfortunately, uh, Barry and Bill, we don't have the Ernestina officiating at this uh, blessing of the fleet, and it's also Memphis' 200th anniversary. anniversary. I'll never understand why it's not here. And well, <laughs> that is very unfortunate. The Ernestina was to lead the, uh, the the parade today, the parade for the blessing, but uh, unfortunately, uh, the Ernestina, believe it or not, is out on the Midwest. Uh, Governor Dukakis, of course, running for the Democratic nomination for president. He's campaigning out in the Midwest, and he decided to bring the Ernestina with him. Uh -huh. Now, how he got it out to the Midwest, I don't know. <laughs> I think Bill Brennan could figure that one out. Bill oh, must have. Uh, and right across the desert. That's it. <laughs> so it's out in the middle of Iowa or Michigan. Or actually, it's in uh, it's in Michigan. Mm -hmm. it's, it's in, in the middle of a cornfield out there. <laughs> oh boy! It is in Michigan, and um, it'll be there, I guess, right through the weekend. Well, that's rather unfortunate, but we have a surprise for everybody. Uh, we wouldn't we weren't going to let the show go by without taking a look at the Ernestina. Cable 2's cameras were out there, and we did a very interesting story with her under full sail and the harbor here. And let's take a look at the Ernestina right now. The F.E.M. Morrissey, now called the Ernestina, has survived three long distinguished careers and is ready for a fourth. She has sailed under four flags and has carried fishermen, cod, haddock, explorers, scientists, Eskimos, polar bears, walrus, navy men, oceanographers, Cape Verdean immigrants, and goods bound for Africa. The ship means something different to each of the groups to whom she appeals. She is perhaps the finest remaining example of a Gloucester fishing schooner with her beautiful clipper bow and sturdy construction. She is remembered fondly in Canada as well as in Gloucester for her expeditions to the Arctic regions. Her skipper, Captain Bartlett, was awarded honors by the National Geographic Society and the Explorers Club. Bartlett's boys recall their growth to manhood aboard the Morrissey. The vessel also performed useful wartime service for the government during World War II. For the Cape Verdean community in the United States, she represents the living link with her homeland and sea heritage. She was probably the last commercial sailing ship to sail regularly across the Atlantic and thereby evokes an era gone by for many.